Welcome to my channel. If we haven't met, I'm Kari Greger. Joey! Hey, how you doing? Don't! I'm glad you're here. Today, plant-based Southwest salad and dressing. Let's get into it. For this recipe, you need plant-based mayonnaise. I have just recently canned some of our banana mash mayonnaise and it came out with a pH of 3.97, which is a fantastic pH for canning. This is an experimental mayonnaise, so the recipe isn't solidified yet. I have to run some other tests, but you can see it is very, very creamy and it is a good pH point for preservation. So I'm going to use this plant-based mayonnaise in the recipe. Oh, banana. Banana. You can use whatever plant-based mayonnaise you prefer. This is just better because there is no oil in it no added oil and extremely little fat since we just use bananas instead of cashews. Take one cup of the plant-based mayonnaise, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, four teaspoons of sweetener. That can be sugar, agave, maple syrup, or date sugar, and it's completely optional. Two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, optional, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Spell calls for cayenne pepper, not black pepper. <gasps> Just stir these ingredients together. Add a little water to thin, if you like. One teaspoon of cumin. It just adds such a unique earthiness to this lovely Southwest salad dressing. What does it say? I'd rather not translate, Lieutenant. It's uh, earthy humor. Uh oh. Stir this up until it's a consistency that you like. Be careful about adding water because the vinegar and the sugar or sweetener and salt, they seem to break down the thickness of the mayonnaise. And in the end, I added too much water. I use these little squeeze bottles for any kind of condiments and salad dressing, of course. And it, they are just lovely. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description below. They're just so handy, and it's perfect for one cup of salad dressing. And there you have it, Southwest salad dressing. This sauce is meant to duplicate the sweet and slightly spicy flavor of Newman's own dressing. If you have been diligently removing all of the salt and sugar from your diet, this is going to be too sweet and too salty for you. So, leave it out. You're making it your, on your own. You don't have to put anything more in there than what you're comfortable with. So, just adjust it to the flavor that you want. Remember, when you make it yourself, you have total control over the fat, salt, and sugar. You speak of control, yet you cause chaos. Is that good information? Give me a thumbs up below, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when another recipe is posted. You can have so many different kinds of ingredients in this salad and they all are great. One of the things I want to point out is the sharp cheddar cheese. This is a cheese that we used to produce, Comfort Food Farms used to produce, and I'll show you how to make it soon. Now, let's discuss what goes into this salad that we have everything chopped up. On a bed of greens, lettuce, spinach, whatever, put black beans, corn that's rinsed and drained or out of the freezer. We've got green pepper, some of our lovely sharp cheddar cheese, which you will learn how to make. Red pepper. Oh, yummy. There is just so many things you could put into this red onion, some tomatoes, some cucumber, some green onion, and how about some toasted tortilla strips? You could do them in your air fryer. There's an idea. It makes a lovely colorful salad. A meal, really. This Southwest salad is easy to throw together if you have this wonderful dressing ready in the fridge. And often when we are on a Southwest salad binge, which happens in the summertime, I will keep the beans and the corn and everything else in little compartments in the fridge so we can just throw ourselves a salad together. 
I was a fan of the McDonald's Southwest salad, so this recipe is meant to duplicate that without the animal products and without the fat. It's a great way to get your complex carbohydrates and all your vegetables in one meal. And I put on some of the uh, Comfort Food Farms cheese. I will be teaching you how to make this very soon. So we'll be looking forward to that. Ooh, gotta put some sauce on. <laughs> oh, just look at that, it's so good. Have a taste. Got some black beans on here. This is mostly about tasting the sauce, so I didn't make the full bore Southwest salad. Mmm. Mmm, delicioso! We are gonna be eating a whole lot more of this this summer. Those flavors are just so good. Oh, yummo! Mm. A dandelion. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up below. Subscribe and hit the bell so you will know when the rest next recipe is posted. And the next video is going to be, I'm going to be canning plant-based cream cheese. That's right, you heard that. I'm going to be jar preserving an oil-free cream cheese. So hit the bell if you don't want to miss that recipe. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of our fast food salad. Thank you for watching.